It is quite remarkable how quickly things can change. Things we once did, we had to adjust. Places we once visited, we had to avoid. What was once expected of us, we had to go beyond. The last few months have tested us. They have shown us what courage looks like. They have deepened our sense of community and they brought out our indomitable human spirit. Because when things slow us down, rattle us, and upend everything we know, we never lose hope. We get up, we dust ourselves off, and we come back greater than ever. We will see you tomorrow night. Because that's what we're made of. We are the Comeback Kids champions of earning it. A team that was in last place on January 3rd. And I mean really earning it. The wait is over and the St. Louis Blues are the Stanley Cup champions. We are steadfast, determined, patient and enduring. Generous and kind. We bring our all every single time. Even if that means bringing it from afar. Because we know the common goal is bigger than us. And when we come back from this, it will be glorious. Help us fight COVID-19. For more information, visit riseupforheroes.org. Let's go. Let's go. Hey there, good evening, and welcome to Rise Up for Heroes. I'm Joe Buck proud St. Louis native and your host for the next hour. The Rise Up for Heroes initiative was created to rally St. Louis in support for those on the front lines in the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The healthcare, grocery, transportation, and restaurant workers, as well as the first responders, teachers, and delivery drivers, and all of the other essential members of the workforce who were sacrificing so much to keep us all safe. This show is about thanking them and raising the spirits of all the people who make St. Louis such a wonderful place to live and work. Throughout the show, we will remind you of our website, riseupforheroes.org, where you can find a link to donate to support the COVID-19 Regional Response Fund, directing resources to organizations who are helping those affected by the economic impact of coronavirus. We've got a lot of special guests, amazing performances, a little bit of magic, and a history lesson too. So let's kick things off with a movie and television star, game show host, comedian, and St. Louis native, none other than Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric, hey man, it's great to see your face. How are you getting along out there in LA, okay? Yeah, doing good, Joe. How are you, man? Uh, yeah, you know, it's Corona time, so we've been in the house doing the stuff with the family and you know, you take some walks, you know, and a uh, lot, a of, lot of snacks. I just started like a meal program. So now I'm just kind of eating a regular little, uh, you know, food system as opposed to like all the Oreos and grilled cheeses I was making at first when this first thing happened. You're sitting with your family, you start watching movies. Next thing you know, you're snacking. I said, we start like using uh, Cheez-Its as legal tender around here. Like, let me trade you two of uh, those those white cheddar ones for one, the old school one, and you give me three spicy ones. And <laughs> we just moving them around. Oh, uh, that's great. Um, you know, it's great to have you on this show. Uh, it's called Rise It Up for Heroes, this initiative that's going on here in town. And, and I've always admired how you, Cedric, with all that you've done and I mean, you've done it all, but you've never forgotten where you came from. And, and I love that about you. So thanks for being a part of this and thanks for doing and for people back here at home. Indeed, man. I mean, it was something that, uh, uh, of course, uh, St. Louis is the town that made me and uh, and I have a lot of love for it. And so whenever I can get involved, I do. Uh, and so very early on, you know, of course, I got engaged with many initiatives that's been going on in St. Louis uh, to help doing this crazy pandemic, man. Yeah, it, it's funny, isn't it? When, when you come from here, you come from the city, you've been out in L.A., you've had all that success, but, but there's something about this community here in St. Louis, really all corners of it, 
whether it's rallying around our sports teams or events or now trying to shine the spotlight on people doing so many great things during this frightening time in our country. It's just special being from here. I feel that way. I imagine you feel the same way. Yeah, indeed, man. You know, the city is uh, is just kind of recognized as one of the best places in the Midwest. And so, um, you know, I, I try to represent that as an entertainer. And so uh, I think that, that that spirit, when we go out into the world, people go like, yo, you know, you, you seem like a good good dude, like a good neighbor. You got that St. Louis feel about you. And I was like, that's right. And almost everybody I've ever met uh, have that same thing from Nelly to John Hamm to you to uh, so many people that are, you know, famous out there. They have this feeling when you meet them that they are exactly who you thought they were by the what they represent on television. Give us something to walk away with uh, as we wrap up. All right. Well, thanks, Joe. Man, I appreciate it. This has been amazing. Uh, St. Louis, keep your head up. Um, everybody, we will get through this. All of our first responders, uh, doctors, nurses, custodians, uh, restaurant workers, we thank you for sacrifices that you made during this time. And uh, we're praying for your health and uh, everybody else to get back to a normal life. So God bless everybody, all right? Uh, holla. Holla.